good evening all namaste a warm welcome to all the participants today we have a special guest she is garima saigal i am very happy to introduce garima to our group she has uh, more than 20 years of uh, professional experience she has uh, done lot of courses uh, she told me she started with the body uh, with the zumba etc exercises then she moved on to uh, nlp kind of uh, techniques psyche reiki uh, and so many other techniques so as we met a uh, few months ago uh, within first 2 uh, minutes i was uh, sure that i wanted a session from uh, garima ji such an inspirational such an motivational speaker and uh, you will know you will know in uh, within minutes so she has been uh, bringing positive change in the lives of people uh, so a warm welcome to you garima ji uh, namaste thank you for joining in thank you gurudat so, and a big i would like to uh, welcome all the participants once again and i will uh, invite garima ji to continue thank you all uh, thank you gurudat for that uh, beautiful introduction and uh, my at namaste to all the members present here today uh i would like to thank gurudat and i would like to thank uh, team kaltaru for having me here on this beautiful forum i have seen the nature of the talks that you have been holding and it is really heartening that in this time that people you know can communicate with each other and you spreading positive light amongst all so with all the intention because i believe in the power of intention uh, largely and i think intention and love are the two frequencies which rule the universe so with whatever intention kaltaru has been set i would uh, want that the universe expands and brings more and more to this beautiful foundation and to the lovely work that you are doing having said that i have um, a mixed and varied audience and uh, i was asking uh, gurudat also what are the kind of people that i would be interacting with and he told me that there are a lot of spiritualists scientific and you know various backgrounds so i had one or two questions one was that uh, what is the language so i only know two languages punjabi would not make sense so it is english hindi that i can uh, you know i'm comfortable with so one i would need to go ahead whether i can use both the languages or only english works that is one second i would request everyone to please switch on the videos and i know it makes people uncomfortable and trust me when i say that i'm coming from the deeper levels you know switching on the videos means self love right we are not hiding behind anything we are comfortable looking at our own selves and we are comfortable looking at each other okay so i would be transmuting certain energies in the process hello yes we can hear you very much i i've lost my screen i can't see anyone hello the topic today is sound healing and uh, how many of you are aware of what is sound healing we can use the chat box to talk you know some some principles i'd like to uh, transfer i would like to see where exactly we are so how many of you have uh, attended anything like this before hello hello
okay so i just can i re log in because i really cannot see anyone it is it is am i audible okay right so i would like to sorry and uh, thank you for your patience not attended not attended okay fine so uh, no so we are all new to sound healing so let us understand a few concepts before i go ahead so what is the need of sound healing when we have a problem in the body we all go to a doctor right and alternate therapies are always considered alternate so why do we have to you know when the medical science the allopathy exists why do we have to even look at other uh, modalities logical question yes or no we will be doing a lot of talking into introspection because that helps me gauge you know where we are so i can go on and i can just you know transfer a lot of concepts so these were the sort of questions which were bothering let me just give you a little background about myself who i am what i am doing and how i landed up here in sound healing so i'm a mother of two beautiful children my husband is a chartered accountant i have been working in the space of mostly i was working in the university setup where i was working as a uh, interface between the industry and the academia i was helping the technical graduates management graduates uh, fit into the industry culture i was teaching them spoken english and even while transferring skills i realized that these students you know they came with a lot of uh, a lot of issues with confidence with lot of issues they had lot of background now if you're teaching english where is this uh, required you know that i don't have confidence i know but i don't have confidence so you know skill also like when you're doing skill development so i was approaching from a lot of empathetic knowledge i was giving from my heart i was establishing a lot of connects and i was able to transfer a lot of things you know handling the belief system and everything but by that time i did not have a tool so by the virtue of uh, my empathy system my dna whatever i was operating from that fact and i saw that i was able to help a lot of students you know i would i would just my um, compassionate and empathetic listening to their problems and connecting and finding was finding deeper meanings and here in my life you know my life was also going on and even i had certain challenges with respect to my kids health with respect to my own health and i was finding meaning so i'm i'm in delhi and of course i have the access to the best of uh, medical fraternity and i was exploring all those things but if i talk about my journey it's going to become too long i'm i'm going to cut that short and i'll tell you how and when did i landed with you know the music music has been a very very important part in my life and i i connected to music and the sound and the frequencies a lot so with that i will ask you how many times you have been at work extremely stressed and you know you go to a car and then you sit and your favorite track is playing online you know on the radio and you've had the power to smile how many of you have experienced that gurudev has for sure experienced that anyone else or um, when i entered this chat room gurudev was playing a very beautiful calming music and before getting into the webinar i was you know obviously running wrapping up my things my household my kids and then i put on the headphones and this beautiful sound guru that played and i was like oh my god those two minutes were blissful has anybody else also yeah so a lot of people have experienced what is that so that i would call is a healing sound and then there are sounds to heal and then there is this difference between healing sound and sounds to heal what is this happening so what is that difference essentially what is healing sound and what is sound healing and then what is the need of alternate healing why do we let me first explore why do we really need alternate healing can anybody tell me why do we need alternate healing because sound healing and this word i would like to dissect this before you in a, you know even go further and understand what is the need when we have the allopathic system why do we have to go for mental health 
Fab Shilpa. Who else? Reduction of stress, correct. So I think in allopathy also they give you some tablets to reduce anxiety and stress. Have you ever thought about that? For calmness, fabulous. But they have side effects, okay. Do you stop going to allopathy because it has side effects or, uh, or is there any other reason also? I want you to think, I, it can be a little boring, but I want you to poke so that you get the answers that, you know, alternate healing has never got the respect it deserves. You know, all these things that you are talking, that leads to a very, very beautiful concept. Let us understand. I have learned through my mentor that a human being exists in four realms. What are those four realms? It is you know, because the answers that I'm getting in the chat box. So a human being exists in four realms. What are those four realms? Mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Correct? So because all the answers that I'm getting, uh, they, they link somewhere to your emotional state. Now let us understand these four quadrants. Let us understand what is the concept of... Um, Okay, let me give you an example. Like if you have a mango tree and mango tree is giving you mangoes and you don't like the quality of the mangoes. And so what would you do? Would you polish the leaves or would you, you know, uh, take a cloth and wrap, you know, again, polish the mango or, you know, the leaves or whatever. What if, if you want to improve the quality of the mangoes, what would you do? Nurture it. And how do we nurture it? We nurture the roots, right, Shilpa? So let us understand this concept of inner being and the outer being, watering, yes. So, you know, when we nurture and nourish, this concept, if we take further, and if I take another simpler example of a person, um, you know, we are in a technology world. And if we, if we, uh, you know, do a nice PPT and if I give a printout command and I have something in my hand and there is an error on the paper, outer paper. So can I correct on the outer paper or I have to go to the inside and do the software part to get a correct hardware, you know, hard copy. I will logically, right? I have to go inside to correct the software programming to get a complete uh, good copy, correct, right? So that is the concept of the inner world. And let us connect this concept to ourselves because a human being exists in four dimensions, mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual. So now let us understand when we have problems in our life, we have challenges in our life in three forms. Either we have physical problems, we have illnesses, correct? Or we have relationship issues, or we have issues with respect to our abundance or, you know, our uh, workspace and finances and all those kind of things. We have these kind of challenges. Am I right? Yes, Uma. Do you think I'm right? So we have challenges like this in life. Or bhi kuch hai to mujhe batao. If anybody is having a challenge beyond these three or four things, we have challenges with respect to health, finances, relationships. Mera bacha mujhse baat nahi karta hai. My husband is angry or you know my mother-in-law said this. Whatever it is. So let us understand these problems and where to find the fixes. And why do these problems come into our life? So there were a lot of these kind of questions which have been bothering me from time to time. Yeah, mental health is a major issue. Yes, indeed. So, you know, because how to handle this uh, mental health also? See, now you understand. Let us connect to the concept of inner world and outer world. What is outer world? Is physical and outer world or inner world? Outer world. Is emotional outer world or inner world? You can do IWOW on the chat. Is spiritual inner world or outer world? 
in a world so do you get your answer that you have been operating only on one fourth of your own personality whenever we have challenges we are only working on that one fourth spectrum and the three fourth spectrum is not attended at all am i making sense anybody so can we make a declaration here that my inner world defines my outer world please everybody write down on the chat box my inner world defines my outer world so whatever goes on within is reflective outside right and that leads to a very very important question why sound what is the concept of sound when i am talking about a human body and uh, there are beautiful things there let me again let me tell you about my journey i was when i was finding challenges i was hugely drawn to drums in my life you know those um, hand drums so i used to listen to music i listen to all kind of music it was very calming for me and i always took lot of comfort in music and when i was getting married my first question to my it was an arranged marriage in our times we didn't believe you know aise kuch hota nahi tha glaringly so the first question i asked my husband was do you listen to music and that was the defining factor that okay uh ye alag baat hai that it, it didn't happen that way <laughs> he is a finance person and um, logical right so here is logic versus emotion and this this contrast i'm having at home all the time and i'm trying to see things his way and he's trying to see things my way so yeah moving forward to drums and if any of you know about shamanism in shamanism they use lot of drums and drums are used to connect with the uh, uh animal species we all have spirit guides we all have you know animals have been considered the higher spirits i'm going to digress if i start talking on that topic so please pull me back if i digress i do digress so when i was dealing with the drums i wanted to learn drums and drums also you know in my city people were playing drums in a circle and i got hugely drawn and all i knew is that was a very stressful my daughter was going through some illness and that was the time when as a mother i was hugely hugely stress and in anxiety and all i knew is that i found myself in the center of the drum and i was dancing away and i i realized that i was much calmer i didn't lose my sanity and over and over i did not uh, you know do um, any kind of, i did not take recourse i did not cry in person i got that strength and when i looked back i realized that where that strength was coming from and it kept drawing me again and again to those drumming circles i could not learn to play the drum but my quest kept on going ahead and ahead so when i was teaching my students i was finding what is it what is it what is happening so i introduced a whole curriculum of soft skills you know i said khali english padhane se kuch nahi hoga i introduced a, so i have a very solution oriented approach to things प्रॉब्लम्स आ रहा है ठीक है बट उसको निकलना भी है मतलब यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टे स्टक इन दैट प्रॉब्लम यू शुड फाइंड द वेज टू कम आउट ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम एंड फाइंडिंग दिस सो एंड हियर आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी वंस देर वाज दिस वेरी अकम्पलिश्ड आर्टिस्ट हु यूज्ड टू प्ले द मृदंग एंड इट्स एन ओल्ड इट्स अ ट्रू स्टोरी ऑफ ओल्डन टाइम्स एंड दिस आर्टिस्ट यूज्ड टू प्ले द मृदंग एंड वन a uh, goat's uh, little baby used to come and stand near that artisan and you know he used to keep listening and that gave the artist a feeling this artist used to play and play even more and more and then one day the artist was you know he had that feeling that i think i am a very very accomplished artist you know there's nobody parallel to me so he went to that uh, little baby and you know he was petting that baby and he asked that do i really play so good that you come and stand here the moment i start playing and very innocently the story makes me really emotional every time i narrate and this little baby said that i don't know if you are a good artist or no whether you 
play the mridang beautifully or no i do not understand what i understand is that every time you play this it makes me hear to my mother's heartbeat i feel connected i feel that it is my mother's heart i feel that beat in my own heart and i can't move from here so that takes to a very beautiful concept the concept of energy and the beats and the frequency and let me lead you to one question if you ever thought how did this universe come into being can anybody answer that how was this cosmos this brahmand how was this formed big bang omkar as a vibration yes so either you know the scientists will call it a big bang theory because they would understand um, you know the concepts of vibration frequency physics if i start talking because every lot of answers lie in physics so whether you call it the big bang theory or the spiritualists call it as shilpa said it is omkar ki ek om ka dhvani hua tha ek naad hua tha and then boom and then like there was the origin of the universe the whole cosmos came so whatever you know be the spiritualist or the whatever it is but then this naad is common that this sound vibration and frequency is the truth right and it is said that where nothing can go where nothing can go sound and frequency can travel do i make sense so there is only one way of getting inside the human body you know light and frequency is constant it is eternal nobody can uh, deny that if you talk to people who have you know had near death experiences they talk about light you know ek white light ki baat karte hain and i think even gurudat is a reiki healer and he would talk of white light lot of people here all of us some people may be healers and therapists here so you all know the existence of light am i right so light and frequency and vibration are the only truth and uh, that also leads me to uh, tell you that human body is made up of atoms molecules and every cell vibrates at a frequency this human body is made up of multiple cells and everything vibrates at a frequency and that frequency cannot be denied and why do we have problems in our health or relationships or whatever so what happens is every now and then so we have a very beautiful and complex system of the chakra system and if you go deeper you know because these are interconnected if you go to ayurveda i am a huge fan of trinity and trinity i can connect in so many ways what is this trinity if we take god it is brahma vishnu mahesh trinity and i can expand on that or if we take ayurved it is vat kap kaf pit again trinity and if we take about you know thought thought has a frequency right even thought is an energy would you how many of you would agree that everything in the universe is when energy and frequency then is thought a frequency is thought an energy yes and what kind of energy is thought is the thought when we say that um, i got a degree you know i got a degree i i am a gold medalist this thought is energy and then i say that so and so i lost my mother today or whatever can you see the difference in energy is it the same energy or is it different 
both the frequencies are different the earth vibrates at a particular frequency the universe vibrates at a particular frequency humans have a range humans can listen to 16 hertz to 16000 hertz we have a capacity to hear so i can hear soft sound to louder sound this is the range and it is said that the animal kingdom has greater powers they can listen a lot lot louder and that is why when every time there is a cyclone or a huge uh, you know there is some something big major happening in the nature so you would have seen that animals or the creepy crawlies or the water animals they they shift and there is a movement in their world they don't listen to cnn they don't listen to ndtv but what what is it that they respond to what is the nature of their response they are responding to frequencies and dolphin they say is like extremely intelligent and dolphin can listen up to um, 16 lakhs or something to sorry 200 lakhs so dolphin can listen elephants and whales have a lesser frequency they they hear lower than a human and uh, that is the range of frequencies that i have spoken now coming back to using sound and why we should use sound and alternate healing the space of alternate healing let me give you some data which is i'm also minding the time 6 36 so i want the last i want 5 minutes for question answers and i have designed 5 minutes of uh, meditation also meditative deep sleep i would want you all to have your headphones uh, ready and i will give you time to make your headphones ready and you know go into a healing space because i'm sure a sound healing session without sound will it's like going to a wedding and uh, not seeing the bride and the groom right so we will do i have these beautiful instruments here displaying for you but i will not be playing my instruments today uh why i will not play those instruments because human technology has given us a lot of things it's beautiful 4g 5g unfortunately it does not carry the vibrations and the resonance uh, which is required for sound so i will give you a little demo of a rimming and a hitting but then you will not hear my sound i will be using a different mic for that i will give you a little taste of my instrument is that okay give me a thumbs up is this format good okay thank you narendra ji so uh, yes i was asking you this question alternate healing why this world of alternate healing let me give you a little startling data national on the website of national institute of health guess how many diseases are registered let me decode it is 10000 diseases human body 10000 diseases of the human body are listed okay and uh, there is only treatment of 500 diseases which is listed what happens to the balance 9500 diseases and mind you mind my word i want you to draw attention to the word treatment not cure not cure but treatment okay so they are able to treat and why there is no cure with all the scientific i am not saying that allopathy is not a good science it's a fabulous science but use it with logic if you let me just say that if you are you know working in the kitchen chopping something and you cut your finger fabulous you know use that all go to a doctor if you are if you are running and you hit a wall you break your knee don't go to sound healer if you lose your knee yeah yes shobha i am answering that so 
wherever there is logic you know that this happened and i broke my knee i hit a wall and i broke my knee sure go to an allopath fabulous that is the only way even in allopathy they you know they tie the plaster and what do they say haddi apne aap jud jayega you are going to the bone is going to they tie you in plaster and they say so a body is complete and beautiful to cure itself right we have been given this mechanism to heal our body but but still treatment options are required wherever the logic goes right if you cut your finger if you break yourself break your bone whatever go for the treatment it's fabulous this covid times go for the treatment but even in covid if i expand uh, again it will become a detailed uh, this thing lot of people you know there is just say okay let me connect to um, astrology when they say shani ki mahadasha and 7 saal ka period bura hai to is it that 7 saal mein sab kuch bura hai ha, uh, i don't know whether you can you can get what i said in hindi or should i repeat in english did you miss my point i'm sorry i'm not sure about the uh, understood yeah okay so so when when they say that a period of 7 years 11 years is a curse period does it mean that the entire because even astrology is a science and it is a form of healing modality you know people use lot of uh, you know it is an established form whatever may agree or may not agree but it is there so does it mean that in those 7 years everything bad is going to happen you know in, in those 7 years period you even have a child coming to your family there's a wedding also in the family so good things will also happen right so even in this covid time so lot of people who are affected also you know so many people are dying and so many people are yet finding the treatment and they are also finding the cure and uh, are you so do you think that there is some frequency some emotion thought is under playing that you know fear and anxiety if i connect from nlp i learned that everything in the universe happens twice and why do i say that that everything in the universe happens twice shilpa why why do you agree to me anyone else i would say my house was made once so let me again explain here humans is the only species which has the ability to visualize um just a second so if we don't be, so yeah you are talking shilpa you are talking about a belief system fabulous yes belief system plays a role so every in alternate healing belief system really really plays a role and lot of people who have come to me who believed in me and i was able to transmute my uh, you know fraction of my heart my intention when i give from my heart and the other person receives from the heart that completes and lot of and sometimes i am not able to give a healing to my own husband because he would not believe in this right it is possible so your thoughts belief system everything plays a role and your own dna your own molecular system what you have bought into this universe what is your journey what is your soul journey we are all on a spiritual path and this time a covid time is a time of ascension it is the time to raise yourself to a higher dimension each one of us it is the time to lift ourselves up okay so uh, the connection between uh nlp when i said that everything in the universe happens twice why do i say that because before we see a physical manifestation and as i said my inner world dictates my outer world i first saw it in my mind's eye are you connecting the dots only humans have this beautiful gift of visualization so whatever you need in your mind you should be able to visualize and last couple of days 
I am working with a mentor and I'm learning how to visualize my own death. You know, what are the last three words that I'm going to say before I go? And whether I'm at peace or no. And this is what I'm learning from one of my mentors. I'm learning from a lot of masters. I'm in the journey as you are. We are all on the path. And uh, using this beautiful technique of uh, visualization, I am drawing a mental chart of, because death and life are the two eternal truth. And when I leave, how do I want to leave? Because that is going to determine my next birth, right? So I have gone haywire, I have gone from the topic, but I think these questions may be able to, you know, um, may be able to provoke some thoughts inside you, right? And uh, connecting back to sound frequency, uh, would you all, are you ready to hear a sound and see how it goes to your cellular and why does it affect you? Or do I expand on that uh, cure versus treatment? Yeah. So uh, how sound heals? So, you know, uh, again, it is a very detailed topic covering it in 45 minutes is like next to impossible. I'm bringing in so many philosophies and fundamentals. But let me tell you again, when we talk about our conscious and the subconscious, so a conscious body, if I, you all would have seen that picture of an iceberg where the iceberg is only so much that famous Titanic story, we all know the iceberg was only so much, but beneath it was 75% deeper like our own human mind. Physical body is only 25%, 75% is our uh, hidden side and our subconscious mind. And much like the heart, from the very moment it has come in inception, this heart, our subconscious mind is actively working. Never even for a minute, it has stopped working and it is recording things for you. You know, it is capturing all your thoughts, beliefs, emotions. And what are you thinking? I mean, what are you thinking even at that moment, having understood that everything is thought vibrance, uh, vibration and frequency? Every thought is a power to, you know, raise you higher or to take you down to the dumps. And think how many negative thoughts do you think in a day? How much fear and anxiety we create in our own mind. And when we are operating in the emotion of fear, anxiety, what is it that we are doing to our body on a daily basis? And that is where the knowledge of chakra system or you know, cleansing your auric space or sound healing. And uh, sound is close to my heart once again because it goes to the subconscious mind, your subconscious mind has the ability to operate in the theta state. It, it does not judge you. It, it only captures your emotion. It only captures your um, feelings, your belief system. Again, uh, I've taken long, I'm sorry, Guru Das, I've gone beyond time. No, uh, it's fine. <coughs> No problem. I've gone beyond time. People will have the jobs to do. Uh, should I introduce the sound? Yes, please. Yeah. So I'm going to just show you one sound. I, I'm not going to be audible. I'm giving you two minutes to please uh, get your headphones, straighten up. You can lie down. You can even switch off your, um, if you feel that you need to switch off your video, I'm okay with that. After we have played the track and you feel comfortable, please do come back and leave a word. And if you have questions, I would be honored to answer them. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So uh, your two minutes starts from now. And singing bowls. And here is the first vibration, first sounds for yourselves.
Whenever you are ready, come back with a smile, with gratitude, thanking everyone, your God Almighty, your own beautiful heart, this beautiful platform and the knowledge of sound healing. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. 
would anybody like to share their experience or if you have any questions yes uma anything less than 20 minutes is uh, not good i get it let me give you you have 10 minutes more friends if you have 10 minutes i think i'm going to uh, share with gurudat you can use the um, a link to you know while sleeping you can play these sounds i also if you have younger children at home you know you play it in their room it's beautiful let them wake up to this music so there are a lot of uh, youtube videos it's not important that you know you have to have an actual session you can play these from the youtube play it in your home it is going to give you the same benefits you can play them on uh, a speaker you can put a speaker or something we can share the link for that gurudev can share i can share whatever it is and uh, even our own body is capable of creating beautiful sounds so all of those who are in the practice of yoga or uh, some kind of breathing you must you thank you venkatesha thank you so much so thank you shobha thank you vani so uh, this is going to relax you even further and what i was saying use your own own voice to create those vibrations within your body thank you asha so you can uh, you know do the bhramri pranayam or maybe in a later day i could teach you how to do uh, om chanting thank you lakshmi thank you so much thank you for those beautiful comments anybody if you have any thoughts or questions or anything you want to say you are most welcome thank you ashok i would take uh, just 30 seconds <coughs> to extend my uh, thank you to Uh, to you and also to the participants uh, we would like to have you once again of course uh, i have a small uh, little poll which i am uh, running now so i request all the participants to uh, answer the poll so thank you once again uh, we will meet again uh, next week